it. Oh. Guys. Whoa. It's finally December. Yes. Let's go. It's, it's the best, best time of the year. Oh. oh. Guys, Christmas is so merry. Yes, it's it is. It's so yes. hairy. Merry. Merry hairy? Harry, that kind of rhymes. I mean, though. you have a deer on your head, True. so maybe it is a merry, merry Harry Christmas. Harry, merry, Harry, merry Christmas. Harry, merry Christmas to Harry, you. Harry, merry Christmas, guys. Like Mel said, it's December, and we are starting our newest series, Ooh. The Miracle of Jesus. Miracle. It's be so much fun. So many Jesus. good things coming your way. But guys, Christmas is my favorite. Yes. Right? Same. Isn't it yours? Yes. Like, yes. what's like the best Christmas present you ever gotten? I think the best Christmas present I've got was like a couple years back when I got my own PlayStation 4. Oh, and I know yeah. I bet some of you guys are trying to get the latest systems the out there, the PS5, I want that so bad. the new Xbox. Uh, I hope they restock because I need to go get some. I know. Hopefully yeah. you guys get it for Christmas. Seriously. Mel, what about you? What was your, what's your favorite gift that you've ever gotten? Mine was a KitchenAid mixer. Oh. Wow. Makes sense because she I love cooks, bakes, She loves everything. to bake and cook. Yes. That makes cookies. sense. That makes sense. How great. Man, yeah. To be honest, um, I don't remember my, my greatest Christmas gift I've ever gotten, but I remember the greatest Christmas gift I've ever gotten. Was it like got. a hat? What? Was it a hat? No. You oh, know, actually. You, you know how you always like to wear hats? Actually, I did get, my sister got me a really nice hat one year, and yeah, I finally got to wear it this year, so it was good. Um, but the best Christmas gift that I never got never I, every year I put on my Christmas list I wanted a stuffed golden retriever dog wow a stuffed one and I never got it never wow. got it I don't know why who knows maybe you'll get one this year maybe I hope so who knows we'll see, we'll see. but guys we have an awesome lineup for you guys today so Woo. you guys want to stick with us we're going to have fun we're going to party we got so many things that we want to share with you guys so it's going to be fun right I'm yes. so pumped we're ready to rock and roll Christmas time is here it's the merriest it's the hairiest <laughs> It's not the hairiest. Uh, it just rhymes. No, but it's filled of love, yes. hope, peace, and joy. Come Boom. on, yes. we love it. We love it. So, you guys want to get started? Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go check it out. Let's 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 do a countdown. Yes. Yes. Countdown. All right, here we go. Count with us. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Let's go. Woo! Hey guys, it's Sophia here. I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday so far. I wanted to let you know that if you received your special Christmas package in the mail, you should have gotten some cards in there that are going to tell you about what we're going to talk about each week. This week, we're kicking things off with the story of Zachariah and Elizabeth. I don't want to spoil too much, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we're going to be talking about how with God, all things are possible. So before we move on into anything else, there's a memory verse on the card, and I want to go over that with you guys because we need to learn the word, right? It's awesome to have that in us, and we can speak it out whenever we need it. So this week, our memory verse is Matthew 19:26. It says, but with God, all things are possible. How cool is that? We serve such an amazing God. He can do anything. Nothing limits him. And you know what that means? Since we're his children and he loves us so, so much, nothing can stop us either. We can do the impossible too. So I want you guys to repeat this verse after me. Let's get it in our hearts and let's say it out loud. Say, but with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19:26. Awesome, awesome. You guys are amazing. I want you guys to continue to repeat that. Whenever you feel like you can't do something, maybe something's a little too hard, remind yourself, with God, all things are possible. Come on, let's go see what's next. Yo, let's go. What's, what's up? up? Life changes, kids. Yes, me, Galito. Chandler over here. Man, Cheesy. A.K.A. Rudolph. Right guys. Here. What's the main thing that you do during Christmas? Christmas. Well, what's the what's the most important the decoration thing. in Christmas in your home? The star. The Christmas tree. The, the Christmas tree. I like putting a star on the Christmas tree. Though. Yes, we're gonna. Can we do that? Yes, we could do. Wait, that. are we building a Christmas tree? Yes, that's why. Is that I what just, tree update? Yes, is? yes. Ah, guys, okay. we are here, me and Chandler, to update you guys. Ooh on our building of a Christmas tree. I don't know if you guys saw on Friday, but we built this amazing fireplace. And so now nice. me and Chandler are gonna build this oh, Christmas tree. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it's and you good. guys know that when you build your Christmas trees, you're with your loved one. Yes, so, with your loved one. You maybe have some hot cocoa in your hand. Yeah. Fireplace is going. Have a Christmas movie going. Right, all that good stuff. So, Kyle, have you ever put up a tree before? I have. Okay. Yes. I, 
Honestly, I don't remember if I have. You've never built a Christmas tree? I don't think I have. Wow. Well, fun fact, so, in my house, I actually have like a 12-foot Christmas tree. Sheesh, how do you get all the way up there? We have to use a ladder. So. Uh, just, how, do, do, how big is this tree? I don't know. Well, I guess we should unbox it, right? So what's this thing? It's like uh, that's the, some that type has of claw. to be the bottom. The bottom. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the bottom right here. Oh, we got these branches. Branches. So how do we know which one goes first? That's the tricky part. All right, let's see here. Well, there's a big one down here. Oh. Oh, it's only three pieces, guys. Oh, nice. Okay, so maybe we start with the big one. The biggest one's probably the bottom. Okay, so what do I do? Just put it in that. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's it? Well, I guess we have to add more. But hey, kids, while me and Chandler are working on this, why don't you guys go play a game? Oh, yeah. I heard it's a good game coming up next. I heard it's a really good game. Yes, yes, yes. Go check it out. Seniors kids, welcome back to Game Zone, but the holiday edition. You know what I was thinking about though? I'm actually an expert at unwrapping my Christmas gifts. Hmm. I usually unwrap all of mine before my brothers unwrap one. Huh. Well, let's see how fast you can do it, but oh yeah. With oven mitts. Oven mitts? Yeah. So here we have two boxes, two gifts that we wrapped, and I want to challenge Ashley and see how fast she can unwrap it wearing oven mitts. So, let's this. actually both do it. So, let's put them on. And then, we're gonna oh, yeah. do it. Listen, and see who can do it the fastest. It's gonna be hard, but I got this. I can do it. Hmm. Are you right. ready, Mel? I'm ready. Are you ready, kids? All right, let's go. Are we gonna get a timer or something, or are we just gonna go? Let's just do it. All right. All right. Three, one. two, one. Go. Okay, oh wait, my this is a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I feel like I'm wearing wait. lobster claws. Honestly. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. No. Oh, my <sighs> goodness. Okay, wait, hold on. No. Oh, I got mine. I got mine. Oh, my God. No, no. I, I'm good. I got it. No. <laughs> okay, so I guess you weren't that fast with oven mitts. But, guys, try this at home. Go to your kitchen, borrow your mom's, your grandma's oven yeah. mitts. Try it with your Christmas presents, and then... See how fast you can do it. Clearly, it's a little bit difficult because I'm an expert at unwrapping and I couldn't do it. I couldn't beat Mel. It's okay. Yeah. I'm going to be here next time. I'm going to practice. All right, guys. Well, this is fun, but I'm ready to worship. Are you ready? I am so ready. All right, yeah. let's go. time i love this season because the milk and cookies mm, they're love so them. yummy what's but your favorite i love the snow because it's cold and oh. it's so pretty snowball fights are the best yeah and we love christmas so much i'm dressed up as an elf what are you dressed up as i'm dressed up as an uh a reindeer a reindeer i'm wearing a reindeer on my shirt oh yeah that's pretty cool yeah but what i love about Christmas is the Christmas music. Oh, can we do a Christmas worship song? <gasps> yes, oh my gosh. How about we sing, Oh Come Are Ye Faithful? Oh, let's sing it. Oh, oh come are ye faithful. faithful. Actually, maybe we should just cue the song and worship all together. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it in three, two, two one. one. Woo!
pretty sure I got the lights like down. This. Probably like here. Then Chandler. All right, I think I'm all set. What are you doing? You, you, you said to wrap me. I said wrap the tree. You did not say that you said wrap me. And then what are what are those lights? There's not. We're supposed. I told you to get clear white lights. Those are green. You know what? It's fine. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. I think <sighs> I think I got everything done. Let's. All right. Let's see. What, what does it look let's like? See right now. Oh. Whoa. Can you guys see this? Can you see That's the light? Nice. I like that. Yeah. Cool. So then, what do we do next? I think. Well, kids, what do you think we have to do next? Hmm. Once you do the lights, what else do you do to the Christmas tree? Put presents under it. No. It? Oh. Chandler, uh, kids, we put on our decorations, the little ornaments. Ah, that's right, those things. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys should have received ornaments at your house and your package. Yeah. I hope you guys made that, and you guys can put that on your tree. Right. Um. But in the meantime, how about this? You guys go cook up something good on what's cooking. What's cooking? Me and Galo are gonna go get the ornaments so we can set this up. Yeah. Happy holidays, Life Changers kids. Isn't it truly one of the best times of year? I love Christmas, and not just for the presents or the peppermint candies, which my grandma gives me, but Christmas is all about celebrating the greatest gift that I and you have ever received. Do you know what that is? You're right. Jesus is our greatest gift. And this time of year gives us the chance to think about why his birth is so important. To help us out, let me introduce you to my friend, Claudia. Claudia really likes reading God's word and watching the Life Changers Kids videos. But she wasn't always this way. There was a time when she didn't understand or even care about the true meaning of Christmas, except presents and apple pie. What changed, you ask? Let's find out. 
Oh. Hey! Oh. 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 You're having a rough day? What do you care? Well, I can relate. Oh, really? Did you stand in line all day only to find out that the PS5 was sold out right as you got to the front of the line? Did you step in mud in your brand new shoes that you've been waiting all year to wear? And did you lose your coat when it's freezing out here? Um, uh, no. But I have experienced worse. Yeah, I doubt it. Have you ever lost your voice for almost a year? What? That happened to you? No way. Yes, it did. No way. You see, I am Zachariah. Can I tell you a story? Sure. Long ago, when I was young, an angel came to me one day and proclaimed that my wife would have a baby. We were both very old back then and had no kids. So I was very shocked. No, 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 there's no way. You're kidding. Me and my wife, we're very old. We can't be parents. Look, I'm an angel. I work right with God. I know how this works. I didn't want to have to do this to you, but since you didn't believe me, until that baby's born, you're not going to speak another word. What I said will happen, and you will see. So the angel took my voice, and I couldn't speak for months. I had to use hand signs and write on a tablet to tell people what I was saying. Like an iPad? What? No, a wooden tablet. Oh. So the angel was real? Yes, she was real. And what she said came to pass. You see, my wife, Elizabeth, we had a son, and we named him John. I wish I could show you a photo, but he, he was very cute. Mm. But the angel, what she said did come to pass. Wow. I guess that is worse than standing outside for three hours. But it's probably not worse than not getting a PS5, though. Well, I hope from my story, though, you can see that God can do the impossible. In my situation, it only came to pass because I trusted God. How do you know he can do the impossible, though? Well, you just have to read your Bible. In Matthew 19, 26, it says, but God can do the impossible. Wow. Uh, can he get me a PS5? Well, he actually can. You see, I recently purchased a PlayStation 5, but I'm old, and I probably won't enjoy it as much as you, Claudia. And since it's Christmas time, I feel like you should take it. Oh, wow. Thanks, old man. Yes, but don't thank me. Remember, God can do the impossible. It's really from him, not me. Wow. Uh, well, I'm kind of really glad I met you today. Uh, thank you again for this. Um, you were going somewhere, so have, have a good day. I'm, yes, I'm gonna go. Wow, thanks. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, no, look at looking it good, along. looking good. Oh, you guys are back. You guys hey. are back. Guys, we are just now getting wrapping up with the with the ornaments, putting them up on the tree. Yeah. It's looking kind of good, right? Yeah, we're almost done. Nice. But we left the most important ornaments for last. Yes. I don't know if you guys remember in Jesus League when we made these amazing oh. Toy Story crafts. Those are cool. We added some string to them so we can hang them to the I tree. I got Mr. Potato Head. Like these are amazing. Should we put them like next to each other? You know. All the Toy Story together. Yeah. I like that. Okay. I'm up here. Cool alien guy. Mr. Potato Head. I think my personal favorite out of these boxes. Do you guys remember from Summer Spectacular with the Eternity Stones? Oh, yeah. Those were the coolest. My absolute favorite. Those are so cool. They're actual real crystals. Yeah, I like those a lot. We can keep these all together, too. Let's see. Let's find a nice little spot Let's right see. in here. I like that. Look at all these beautiful oh, crystals. Yes. 
listening. This is definitely a life changer's kids tree because yes, we got sir. all of our crafts. So good, Love so it. good. Oh my gosh, I remember this. Guys, this was when we made our craft with the french fries. Remember where you guys were able, this was for Father's Day actually, where you guys were able to write things about your dad. Yeah. So cool. I think this is awesome. Let's go ahead and place this one. Let's go ahead and stick this one in here. And then our last craft that we have for an ornament is this friendship bracelet also made from Jesus League. This is also just really cool. Nice. So we're going to hang this. Yeah, hang that one. But Chandler, oh. what about your favorite piece? So actually I went and I went to the store and grabbed my favorite piece of all, the star. Um, you know what? I want to do this different. I know typically it goes on top of the tree, right? Yes. I think what we should do is place it right here in the middle. Why would we do that? Because uh, it's because it's, it's a life changer's kids tree, right? We gotta we gotta we gotta go different, you know? I mean, I guess kids. What do you guys think about the star being in the middle of the tree? Let us know. Comment. Let us know if you'd like that. If you don't like it, we can move it to the top. Yeah, but we'll I move. Think, I, think, I think that looks good. I think it looks okay. I like it. Guys, right. what a time. Yeah. Week number one of Woo. the miracle of Jesus. I hope you guys had fun. hope you enjoyed For every real. bit of it. hope you enjoyed us building this tree Look at that. in the meantime. Um, but make sure you guys tune in with us. Don't forget to tune in, us. Tune in with us this Friday. As we have Kids Connect online, we're going to be chatting. Yeah. Um, so you guys, make sure you join us for that. And we have a nice little craft I think we're going to do for you guys there. For so real. make sure you guys come join us. Also, don't forget, on Monday, next week, we have week number two coming up. Don't miss week it's number gonna two. Good. It's going to be gonna just be better. Yes, we're going to have our Christmas tree throughout it all. Woo! Let's go. Oh. I'm pumped. Rudolph and me, we got to go. But we will see you guys very, very soon. Love, Love you guys. You guys.